Hi, um, this is for calculation of uh, ILA alpha laser results. So here, if you get the standard curve from the alpha laser plate, so you may get uh, twelve standard curve results here. So in the so at first, uh, I have um, calculated the results. Um, the observance in the excel sheet and then i copied the values from the excel sheet to the graph plate prism this is prism 9 and um, so your standard concentrations will be on the x value and your observance of the standards as well as the samples will be in the y value so you can level the samples anyway uh, by your uh, preferred method and now what to do for calculating the concentrations of the unknown samples from the intercalating uh, analysis here first you have to you have to transform the x values the concentrations of the standard values here and for that you have to go to the analyze and normal transform Go to that and then transform x using I will use log 10 transformation and after that I'll click okay cool so I got my transformed concentrations here now I will see the plot of that yeah so you see the plot is um, like sigmoidal so my my data my samples are sigmoidal here for the IL-8 alpha laser and uh, I will check after doing the regression plot here so I will do the long non-linear regression because the curve is, is, is so it is not linear so yeah I will use um, for my for my sample so this is the those response the log concentration so as I transform my samples to log and then I will I will go to the log agonist based response because I transformed the data into log and then the response uh, the observance uh, was not transformed so this will I'll select and uh, or I'll inter interpolate also because I need to get the unknown uh, the some concentrations of unknown samples I'll check it and uh, as per the recommendation of the alpha as a manufacturer I have to make this weight by 1 by y square and uh, so the constraint could be a factor here sometimes uh, you'll find there's no constraints and sometimes the constraint is equal to if this value if this value present then you have to transform these into no constraints otherwise you have to put a value here the f value so as is sometimes to know the f value so it's uh, always better to make it no constraints so now if we go to click ok so then check the graph here yep the graph is perfect sigmoidal and uh, if you go to the non faith linear the calculation you'll find everything here the f value is not um, given so 95 curve is not given anywhere so to get the values of your unknown concentration so that's the value so this is my sample the standard will not be shown here as it has been omitted from the analysis and um, you'll get every sample's concentration here so now what you have to do you have to transform this concentration to the um, anti-log because previously you did the transformation so to do this you have to do again the analysis and then transform the similar method and uh, go to transform x fellows using so I did previously the log x now I will do uh, 10, 10 to the power x so this value so this is the anti-log value uh, go to the curve so this is the original concentration you're looking for so so this is the method by which you can calculate your um, unknown 
samples concentrations. So now you, what you have to do, you need to copy this and then pass the pass to the original data set here because you you want to know the you want to know the uh, I'll pass from this because the samples are numbered here. Yeah. So and and you know so then you have to what you have to do you have to multiply by by dilution factor did if you dilute the samples uh, before using to the alpha lies answer so I did five times dilution so I, I need to calculate this into five times so after calculating then you'll get the original values for that okay I think this video is helpful for you thank you very much bye